Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So question from Carlos today. What is the difference in an RF racket? Strung versus unstrung. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so before I get started, I got to take a slug of my dark roast black coffee like I always do every morning. Did you guys know that black coffee or coffee in general is a diuretic? Well, you know what I'm going to do after this, right? Well, anyways, that's beside the point. Um, if you guys want to support my coffee habit, give me a coffee backslash tennis spin. Um, thank you in advance. Hold on, I might need to take a, a two minute break. Just, no, just kidding. It's all good. Hold on, let me take another slug. All right. So video today. My man Carlos contacted me and said, what is the difference between a standard, regular, non-strung RF, ooh, it's my stomach, RF 97 Wilson versus a strong one? That's a great question. So I have a non-strong one here. Uh, I'm going to get the specs from it. I'm going to string it and then take a look at the specs again to see how much it changes. Okay? Stay tuned. All right, so I took our demo, okay? There's not a leather grip on here. It's Wilson Pro Performance grip on here, okay? Since it is our demo and the leather grip was looking a little gnarly there. Um, so, it, but it shouldn't change much of anything since we tested that before with the leather and the regular didn't change much. Balance point looks like it's going to be 303. Okay, let's hit the scale and see what we get on the rest. So we're at the scale, checking the weight. Three thirty-eight point five. Swing weight. Two ninety-eight. All right, so I'm gonna take the racket, I'm gonna string it up with Confidential 16L by Selenko. Uh, because it's an RF and 48 will lose tension way too fast, especially on a demo, I'm gonna do it at 50, I'm gonna do it at 55. All right, so I'm gonna go through the process now and then come right back to you. All right, so we just strung it, Selenko Confidential 16L. 55 pounds. Let's see how much it changed. Balance board. Oh, whoa. That was faster than I thought, actually. Three, 13. Okay, let's hit the scale. So at the scale, let's see what we got. Three fifty-five point five. Three 
interesting. All right, let's go analog. Okay, so how much did it change? So these are actually pretty close to what they're supposed to be. I think that's supposed to be 340 right there. So not bad in terms of the specs on that. So we expect that to go up, right? We expect this to be a little head heavier. So that's correct. We expect this to go a little more on the swing weight because we added strings to the head. Now, is this what we expect? Yeah. So when you pick up a racket from the store, unstrung, right? It's definitely gonna be lighter than when you throw a set of string on it. And this is how much it's going to alter your racket. It's definitely gonna be head heavier, right? You're definitely gonna get more swing weight through the racket. Now, the other thing that everybody else or everybody does that I don't do um, is you're gonna throw an overgrip on this. When you throw an overgrip on this, what's gonna happen? Well, I did that on another video. It didn't change swing weight much, remember? So to answer Carlos's question, it alters your racket. You have to anticipate for the extra weight in the head. Now, if this is not heavy enough for you in the head, you add, this is when you start customizing. You add it to the three and nine. You add it to the 12 if you want it right at the tip, right? You add it to the handle if you want a little head lighter, but it's gonna, it's not gonna really make it head lighter though, just to warn you, okay? It's just gonna rebalance it a little bit in, in your feel, okay? So before and after RF97. Hope you learned something today. Carlos, this one was for you. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin where we put our spin on your tennis.